Hey girls, it's Cassandra from Girls Inc. Memphis. And today's activity, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make Oreo balls. Um, it's a really fun, really easy dessert. It only takes about three ingredients. And um, let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to need a package of Oreos, cream cheese, a small bowl, a spoon, white chocolate chips, a large bowl, and a Ziploc bag. Once you've gathered all of your materials, you're ready to get started. You're gonna wanna start by dumping all of your Oreos in a bag. And once all of your Oreos are in the bag, you're first going to want to let a little bit of the air out of the bag, just so you don't pop the bag. You're gonna wanna reseal it and zip it back up. And just make sure um, most of the air is out. Spread them out a little bit. Um, and then start crushing them up with your hands first um, and just see how far you can get by doing it with your hands. You're kind of want to want to make this into um, pretty small crumbs. You're not going to want to have a whole lot of large chunks in there. So I'm just starting out by breaking up the bigger chunks with my hands and making sure that they're all um, broken up. But now I'm about to probably take this jar or a gl the and smash it up and even smaller bits. You can use a jar, a glass, a plastic cup, anything you really have that'll help you crush them and um, get them to like a finer texture. And once you've done that, that's what it should look like. It should look kind of like um, dirt, but it's not. It's Oreos. It's just all crushed up. So after all of your Oreos are crushed up, you're going to want to take your cream cheese, a large bowl, and a spoon. And you're going to want to go ahead and dump the Oreos into the large bowl. You can go ahead and kind of shake out the crumbs and try to peel some off the sides of the bag if you want to. I was just trying to get out as much Oreos as I possibly could because I love these Oreo balls. They're so good to me. So I wanted to get every little last crumb out of the bag even though it's nearly impossible. After you've gotten everything out that you wanted to get out, go ahead and open up your cream cheese. And just dump the whole thing right on top of your Oreo crumbs. And that's what it should look like when they're all in there mixed together. And then you're gonna wanna take your spoon and just break up that cream cheese. It's gonna be kinda hard cause cream cheese is super thick and kinda sticky. But just go ahead and do as best you can mashing it up and breaking up the cream cheese with the spoon first. Then once you get your cream cheese kind of um, broken up, you can go ahead and try to 
mix in some of the Oreos into the cream cheese and start to really combine it together. But the best way to combine it together to me is just get in there and use your hands. Mash it all together until it is well combined. Once it's all well combined, you should kind of end up with something that looks like a dough. It should be real sticky and look kind of like this. Now comes the fun part. You're going to want to take maybe like a cereal spoon or a small spoon and you're just going to scoop out a little bit. And I'm rolling them just a little bit smaller than a golf ball or a small bouncy ball. Um, and you just kind of want to roll them in your hands in circular motions and make little balls. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing for this one. I'm going to roll it into my hands and I'm going to make it into a ball shape. They don't all have to be the same size. They can be different sizes if you want them to. They can be bigger or smaller. It really just depends on what size you want to make them. So it's totally up to you. I'm just making mine this size because that's the size that I like to make them. But yours can be different. And now that we've got our Oreo balls all laid out onto two separate plates, we're just going to want to take these and let them kind of harden up a little bit. And we're going to, so in order to do that, we're going to pop them in the fridge. And now you're just going to set your timer for 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes and this is what our Oreo balls look like after they've come out of the fridge. Okay, now um, as you can see I've already dumped a little bit of our chocolate chips into our small bowl. Make sure your bowl is microwave safe and just go ahead and dump a little bit more chocolate chips in there and fill up your bowl. Okay, now we're just going to take our chocolate chips and we are going to pop those right in the microwave. And we're going to want to microwave those for a couple different times for 30 seconds. So here goes our first time. I actually did this to mine about three times. I took them out and stirred them in between. And now... What we're going to do is we're going to take our melted white chocolate. It should look like that. It shouldn't be warm to the touch at all, but if it is, just make sure you let it cool for a bit. Now we're going to take our Oreo balls and we're just going to drop it in our white chocolate and make sure that it is all the way coated all the way around. And we're going to take it out and just place it on another clean plate. And I'm just going to keep doing this for all of them. And it's okay if you get the chocolate on your fingers. It's totally okay to be messy with this. It's a really um, fun dessert to make. Another way you could do this is you could place the oreo ball on the plate already and just kind of drizzle the chocolate over the top if you're not super into loads of chocolate um you can really decorate them and add the white chocolate however you like i like to completely coat mine but i also like to make little designs too so it's really up to you.
now that our Oreo balls are all coated, we're just going to take those and pop those back in the fridge. We want that chocolate on the outside to get nice and hard. And just go ahead and set your timer because in 20 minutes, we will be back and ready to eat our Oreo balls. All right, now that our 20 minutes has passed, these are our finished Oreo balls. Pretty good if you ask me. Um, I hope yours turned out well. I hope you enjoyed making these. Um, it wasn't too hard or too, di or too difficult for you. And just stay at home and stay safe and stay healthy. Thanks for watching.